Hello all my YouTube friends. Just wanted to thank everybody for all your well wishes for my cataract surgery. And everything went excellent. Uh, I'll give you a few details. The one thing that concerned me about the operation itself more than anything was I was thinking, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, how would I keep my eye from blinking if supposedly during the surgery part I was going to be awake, which was true. But uh, no, I didn't have any urge to blink whatsoever. The way they did whatever they did, they only put you out to give you the shot in the eye to make it numb enough to where it kills all the feeling and at least in my case totally killed the urge to have to blink so um, I was awake talking to the doctor as a matter of fact I was talking more to the anesthesiologist because at that point I was back awake again and I guess he was just there standing by to make sure uh, everything was okay after the anesthesia and uh, he became the DJ for the surgery and boy did he have a nice selection first he was starting out with a lot of uh, late 70s early 80s tunes it was kind of like reliving the MTV years all over again and uh, I even asked him did he have a a bit of Celtic music in his collection which he did and then I asked him for a special request and I'm like aha do you happen to have my favorite Celtic song by Lorena McKennett All Souls Night and he had that so I got to listen to my favorite type of music which is Celtic and my favorite artist and song that's also a good Halloween song. If you want to look it up, Lorena McKinnon, All Souls Night, it's a great Halloween song. Uh, I first heard it on the classic stations. I used to listen to the Chicago classic stations, and on Halloween they would play that one. Um, there was one sensation during the surgery now, when the surgery was wrapping up, and uh, to not give you stitches anymore because the openings are so small after they take uh, the instrument out and then the... Uh, other instrument out that puts the lens in they uh, have two small openings to deal with and he said this might be just a little bit of pain as they put some antibiotic ointment in the cuts to help them heal up and it did feel a little bit discomfort but it was not any worse than like if you've if you've ever blinked and had one of your eyelashes come loose and fall you know and you get it kind of like in your blink and trying to get the eyelash out how that's kind of irritating and annoying that's what it felt like and that was the worst of everything nothing else had any kind of pain or discomfort, even at the slightest. Um, whole thing was about <clears throat> 10 minutes total of actually uh, doing the procedure. I got to see it all, but um, I couldn't see anything clearly except the part where he put the lens in. I could see the lens being inserted, which was kind of neat, but as he was working with the instruments and doing his stuff, I could see that stuff was happening, but it wasn't clear enough to really get a good view over it which was better than I thought. I kind of thought once your lens was gone, you pretty much were blind and couldn't see anything at all or any movement or shapes or anything. That's not true. You could still see quite a lot, even with your lens totally gone, because I knew by a certain period of time, my lens had already been gone. So I would urge anybody, don't uh, hesitate if you think you need it. And I went, I was pushing it and pushing it. I was gonna even try to wait till another year to do it and I'm so glad now I mean I can see so much better and I want to show you at the end of the block here somebody put up some really good Halloween decorations and I want to show them to you I'm trying to get up more and more decorations myself to try to do a little bit better each year but all I have is a window display at this point and I'm not sure if I'll ever get as ambitious as these people but what they have got is really fantastic and it's just a half a block away now. It's mostly, uh, which is a good idea to be able to store it away, it's mostly inflatable characters, I think. So, uh, now you should be able to see it. There we go. I'm going to pull up close to it, too, to get a better view. Traffic might think I'm being kind of weird, but that's okay. I've got to show you guys this. Now, look at that. There you got the, the black cat, the pumpkin with a little bit of movement, the ghost, Another pumpkin. Over there is something else. Oh, they got the little, uh, here, let me, let me slowly move up here. If you can see it, they've got kind of like a, a crow, scarecrow on top of the hay. 
Let's look a little more over here. Those bicycles, well, no, this they, they have uh, bicycles year-round, that kind of display, but not with a witch like this one. This one's like a witch bicycle. That's kind of cool. Pumpkin. And another cat. That is really cool. Now, they really did a good job with this display. I'll never probably get that good, but I wanted to show you guys this display. And then, I'm going to head back home, and then for the second part, my decals arrived. So I'll show off the decals that I got that arrived, which are my decals, and then I'll show the decals that I've got that other people have sent me. So I'm going to do an exchange on them, and then uh, for anybody else that if you send me a decal, and I get your return address included, I will send you back one, at least until I run out. I've got 50, so that should last a long time. And then you'll just have to be patient for me to order another 50. I did use the place that uh, Smyrna Cowboy recommended, but I will tell you one thing. It's called uprinting.com, but when you order stickers, or as I call them, decals, um, the original price was 41 bucks, which was really good. I like the price. And then uh, when I checked out, I'm like, I want to... They have a little chat window there, and I wanted to jump on the chat to talk to the guy. And I said, okay, um, I really need to know these stickers that I'm getting. I'm not really up on printing methods and paper types. Is this the kind that would work for a, a long load bumper sticker if somebody wanted to, like, stick it on a bumper or somewhere outside? And uh, he told me, no, you need the 4 mil vinyl, which is ultraviolet resistant. And I'm like, okay, um, can you change the order? And he's like, no problem at all. So I thought, oh man, what's this going to cost? them at 41 bucks already. So it went up to $46. And I mean, that's $46 shipped. That's the total price for 50 stickers. I got the bigger size. Mine are 4 by 6 I could have saved a little bit of money by making them smaller, but I wanted them to be pretty good size. And uh, the rectangle, but it's kind of like Navy Thomas's decal that if you want to cut the round part out, that's fine too. I mean, it can it can work either way as a rectangle decal or a, a round decal because that's the main center part. And I also want to thank my buddy Brightax Lani for designing this for me. I think he's had a hand in designing quite a few stickers because I probably would not have gone in, gotten into this uh, decal exchange without his help because uh, my design abilities are horrible. I... You know that guy that does the one, uh, your name here, that he does that as his decal? Well, uh, that design is probably way better than anything I could ever come up with as far as uh, artistic. So anyway, on to the decals. So here are the decals so far that I've gotten. These are, oh, notice, got my Halloween decorations too, started at least. Um, two from Navy Thomas, one for me, and one I'm going to send to my friend Mick Bugsplat TV so that he has one and then Mr. Sparky Aprilia remember I did the video on the TDD report about the uh, diamond black fan anemia DBA foundation so by donating to the DBA foundation he sends you a sticker in various colors I think black red and something else so I chose the red one and then this one's from Brightex let me put it in a little bit better light so you can see here. It's kind of like a goldish lettering here. And he was the one that designed mine and mine. It'll work either as the rectangle in the form it's at or um, cut it out as a round decal. But yeah, anybody want to exchange, I'll exchange first off with uh, all those people that want to do an exchange for their decal. And then we'll see where it goes from there. And then if I have more left over, I'll start exchanging even for other people uh won't be asking for money for any of them, though. If uh, if you don't have one to exchange and you're on the second group, then just give me your address or whatever like that when we get to the... If, if there's enough left and I decide to do that, then whatever's left, I'll just send them out to everybody. But no, I won't be asking for any money or anything like that. Um, I don't mind when it's like Mr. Sparky did with the... Uh, helping out a fellow moto vlogger, especially uh, one that has a child with a disease. But no, I'm not going to be selling my decals. You'll just get one if you want one, so stay tuned.